Okay. So, from the picture you can see, I'm probably going to be discussing WD40. <clears throat> now, this is the typical can we have these days with the straw and new delivery system of which was a really neat idea as you can see the hose sticks out there and you can shoot long distance or you can spray close at hand you know this way now <clears throat> unfortunately that system isn't the most reliable I don't know how many cans I've fought with trying to get the damn shit to spray out of here properly and in including this particular one, the white lithium grease. Great stuff if you can get it out of the freaking can. Um, but, you know, you can work at it and play with it long enough to get some of it out of there. No problem. Then, some years ago, they came out with this little handy device. Okay. It's a refillable spray pump doodah. You take the cap off here and you fill it up with your bulk WD-40 that you buy in gallons, of which I just got my new gallons worth of it today from the Big A. Um, now, why in the hell would they sell you something that you can actually refill? What a novel idea. I mean, everything else with a spray bottle is basically refillable. This one is refillable with the, you know, cap there. And... <clears throat> It works fairly well. They do have a locking device, as you can see here on the the uh, spray top, to kind of help keep you from getting that damn top off of there if you wanted to, you know, fix it or adjust it or do something. <clears throat> they got that ridge in there to make it difficult to get off. Well, <clears throat> okay, let's move along. Then a few years later, I came across this and says, wow, this is nice. A big can of non-aerosol, 20 ounce metal can with a spray top. This is supposed to be on here for those of you that know what it looks like. Okay, but I took it off to work on it. But when I tried to remove the top to refill it, guess what? The locking mechanism has... You might have seen over here. See the ridges in there? Yeah. That makes it difficult to get the top off. But because this is a soft plastic, and this is able to bypass the notches. Unfortunately, on this Mama Jama, this is kind of a, almost a hard plastic where it's very difficult. You can't unscrew that top because this whole base will rotate as well. So I says, I'm not going to give in to this son of a bitch. So when well, I figured out, I saw the ridges. There they are. The notches, the teeth to keep that top from coming off. What I did was, first I tried using a razor, you know, exacto knife, as you can see there. But that didn't work so well. So I got my Dremel with a cutting wheel. See, and I cut around the perimeter of the cap just above where the gear cogs or whatever you want to call them are and that was able to break away the locking ring from the cap which I will throw that away now and leaving this to be removable as you can see Ta -da! which will make it for me to refill the handy-dandy can that I liked so much and was getting concerned because I was running low on it. So that's why I bought the gallon to refill it. But of course, it doesn't want you to refill it. So you have to go through all this bullshit to get this cap to release so you can refill it. So, <clears throat> WD-40, great product. 
I think the money-making people at the top are saying, hey, we can't have these people reusing our stuff here. We'll have to make it difficult so they can't reuse it. And they have to buy a whole new $15, $18 ba bottle, can, whatever it is, to you know use it. I don't know if they still make these or not, but I still have two of them from back when they were for sale. If you made that refillable, why couldn't you make this refillable? You know, give me a friggin' break. Anyway, WD-40's great for all sorts of shit. Uh, I've had RC electronics um, receivers in, in RC cars that went through water and got drenched and flooded the things with WD-40, shook them out, let them dry, air dry, evaporate the uh, excess, and boom, they work fine. So... That's just one example, plus, you know, the things you can lubricate and, you know, help remove some minor rust from and such and so on. But, there we go. This has got to have something looked into as far as why you can't get all the shit out of the can. It's not because of low pressure, it's just that the shit doesn't want to come out. So anyway, so much of my griping. I'll stick this on my little airplane channel, which is... Pretty much crap, but uh, maybe it uh, helps somebody out save a little money by not having to buy a whole new can if you like this particular form of WD-40. If you don't have any of those or they're not available anymore, well, whatever. Um, overall, great products. Be a little pricey sometimes if you can't find a good deal. But uh, funny thing is, uh, just for the hell of it, I saw WD-40 by the gallon for sale on eBay for the whopping price of 40 plus dollars plus plus I mean people are trying to rape you for WD-40 for all sorts of wild prices when I got it on Amazon for $29 and change Ta -da! okay so anyway I uh, bought the gallon plus a, uh, a silicone spray this size similar to this size uh, it came out to $38 because you need now a $35 um, price uh, to get the free shipping. So anyway, have a good one. Happy flying if you still are. I can't anymore because I can't afford the damn membership fees to the clubs and to the AMA and whoever the frig else wants money. And uh, I've just lost all interest. It's just ridiculous. So I've got some nice airplanes and stuff for sale. If anybody's interested, let me know. Uh, write me a message and I'll send you pictures of what I got. Okay, have a good one. Adios. Ciao. Charlie out.